So hey guys, what's up? This is Ezekiel, and welcome to another Battle Cats Evolutions video. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at probably one of the craziest, but, you know, sort of quirky cats that you can actually get in this game, and it's not too difficult either. Um, to get this particular cat, you just need to log in 30 days in a row, or was it seven days in a row? Not too sure. I don't think it's 30 days in a row, that's kind of too long. But I know that you have to log into the game a couple amount of times to actually unlock this cat. Oops, uh, spoilers, this is the true form cat, don't look at it, but uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the tricycle cat, just because, you know, I was taking a look at the cast today, wasn't really sure what I wanted to go for, but uh, because this guy's level 30 and he just so happened to look, you know, pretty freaking sick, then I was just like, sure, let's talk about him. So yeah, the Tricycle Cat is kind of a an interesting cat. It sort of has all these different attributes that, you know, not many cats have. It's one of the few cats that's able to do area damage, but at the same time doesn't really have that much HP or defense or the attack power to really go with it. So it's sort of an odd mix, really. Though it does look pretty cool. It's a little cat that drives a freaking Tricycle with like one of those, um, you know, I'm not never really sure what those things are called, but it's like the little um, flower spinny things that people put in front of their yards. So whenever the wind's blowing or something, it just spins around, which is kind of entertaining. But um, anyways, back to the video. It's kind of cool because you have a little cat riding just this really puny, um, derpy looking uh, tricycle. And then out of nowhere, it literally just fires rockets. Rockets the size of like, I don't know, his face. Not his whole body, but his face literally at the enemy, which is uh, a little bit random, but it adds to the coolness. And it also explains his uh, area attack, so there is a little bit of game logic here, you know. But uh, anyways, it's not a cat that I typically use in my team, just because, you know, I already have the Paris cat, which is already probably one of the better um, area attack damagers, just because it's it has range, and it can be behind like a bunch of spam cats or wall cats or whatever. But then this cat uh, kind of has to, you know, take a couple of hits, but it can sort of do well on its own, just based on, or against um, weaker enemies such as the kangaroos. But um, anyways, that's uh, essentially the tricycle cat, just a little, you know, regular cat on a tricycle that can shoot out rockets. Random, yes, but cool, definitely. Anyways, let's move on to the next cat. Well, it's actually not the next cat, it's technically the same cat, it's just, you know, it's next evolution. That's what I meant to say. Anyways, the next evolution for the tricycle cat is the biker cat. And actually, I already forgot to do this again, but um, in case you want to read the description, this is what it says. The coolest cat on the block. Area attack. Can't ride a real bike. Parents said no. Oh, that kind of sucks. See, um, I never had that issue growing up as a kid. I actually did have a bike and all that stuff. Took me a while to learn it though, but now I know how to ride it, so you know, I just feel bad for this uh, this little cat. But on the bright side, at least you never have to fear falling off to the side because you have three reels, right? Anyways, this is what the next description is. So, the biker cat, born to be wild, super cheesy, <laughs> area attack as well, and moved out and finally got his own motorcycle. So, uh, that's kind of cool. I like how, you know, some of the cats here, it's not necessarily like a, like a plot or anything like that, but um, there's a little bit of a story behind every single cat. And in this case, this cat sort of grew up, moved out of his parents' home finally, which is, you know, already kind of sad to begin with. Um, not sure how old he was, though, but uh, now he has his own little motorcycle. But despite that, the motorcycle he drives, um, if you take a really close look, Wait, what? Oh, never mind. No, they must have updated it. Never mind. <laughs> before, um, way before, like maybe last year or something, um, the biker cat used to actually have to. Eh, that's a really, really poor choice of words. It used to have the pedals still attached on the motorcycle, so it would actually still be like uh, pedaling away, even though it looked like it was riding a motorcycle. But it looks like they actually changed it recently. Why? I don't really know. Well, I don't really care. <laughs> it still adds to the coolness once again. Just look at the shades and the bandana thing. But what's kind of uncool, in my personal opinion, is that it no longer shoots a rocket, it actually just uses the front tire and has these like super crazy giant spikes that are, you know, fairly large and it literally like impales the enemy to death. Again, it's, you know, a little bit like just ever so slightly tankier than the first form. Actually, maybe I should just clarify this now in this video. Um, usually the evolved forms already have slightly better HP and or attack or defense. It's not necessarily going to have higher HP in every single case, but for certain cats it will. Um, I just think that, you know, when I use these cats or the evolved versions, they it feels like they're slightly tankier, but I don't know if that's actually true. Well, you're going to see the stats on the video anyway, so um, either I'm right or I'm completely wrong. Um, also, if you're not liking the new, like, because I'm, I'm going to already do it in this video, so it's going to have, like, the picture of the cat on the left side and the description of the stats 
stats on the bottom side. I wanted to do it in that style just because um, I wanted to give both my opinions on the cats, but also have the raw stats so that I'm not just like blabbering on about random stuff so it's actually somewhat accurate or it can be somewhat justified. Anyways, the final form of the tricycle cat is the unicycle cat, which was already kind of spoiled because I already showed it by accident. Anyways, the description here, it's a little bit dark, not gonna lie. Was forced to scale down the number of wheels thanks to a recession, but still stays positive. Attacks groups of enemies, area attacks. So apparently there was an accident with the motorcycle cat and it forced it to, you know, go onto a unicycle. But for some reason, I thought that unicycles were actually harder to drive. Not harder to drive, I'm talking about harder to use than an actual motorcycle. So it seems that despite the injury, he's actually going a little bit more hardcore, going with the, you know, more eco-friendly, but single wheeled, uh, vehicle right here. Now, the cool thing about the true form for the tricycle cat, unlike, you know, other true forms, is that the price of the, you know, the overall cats actually decreased by half, so it actually becomes a spam cat, kinda. Well, not necessarily, because it's still sort of expensive for to be considered to be a spam cat, like, you know, maybe, um, 200 and minimum is considered to be spam spammable, but above that's not really, but it, it's more spammable than it was before, because now you can literally just um, continuously spam a bunch of these guys, and they're already kind of deadly um, by themselves because they're able to take down groups of enemies uh, with little to no trouble, so just having a bunch of these guys, you know, supporting each other just makes things so much more difficult for the enemies. Again, they don't have that much HP or defense or anything like that, but uh, you're able to spam them, which I guess is a good enough reason why this cat's uh, pretty good. Like, look at the power right there. Just utterly destroys the kangaroos. And then we have just a bunch of them put together. Kind of deadly. And apparently this guy's attack as well is just, uh, you know, similar to the motorcycles, except now the spikes are yellow. Slightly smaller to fit more spikes, which is, I guess, you know, more efficient. Adds more attack that way. And look at that. Instantly destroys a freaking black bear. Which is actually kind of, uh, wait, no it doesn't. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I thought it actually did. The black bear just passed my eyes and I did not even see it. But uh, another thing that's just kind of interesting about this cat is that uh, for its recession, apparently its legs extended or grew in length so that it can actually ride the unicycle, which is a little bit disturbing when I think about it, but still kind of cool for the overall idea. But um, anyways, that's pretty much the unicycle cat, um, you know, all together. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video for the tricycle cat. If you enjoyed it, then please hit that like button, come subscribe, and stay tuned for more Battle Cat Evolutions videos in the future. Again, um, actually not again, because I, I don't think I actually mentioned these at all in these uh, particular videos, but if you have a specific request to see a specific cat, um, you know, featured in this video, um, just leave it in the comments section below, and if I decide to choose your comment, then I'll show it in the next video, just because, you know, I have such, such a difficult time trying to find the right cats or the best cats to talk about just because I have so many and usually I like to go for cats that are maxed out just because it's it gives a more accurate result in the video versus like a cat that's make maybe level 17 because it's not at max level yet so it's not at its true potential otherwise it's gonna kind of suck if I use that like level one or anything like that anyways 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 thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time Woo!